e-sims are a game changer for travelers. Literally one of the hottest things in travel. And I'm quite upset at myself for not using them earlier, given how much I travel. So what are e-sims? e-sims allow you to access phone plans wherever you are in the world without the need to purchase actual physical SIM cards and insert it into your phone. If you have done this before, you know the tedious process of you know, sticking a pin inside of your phone, taking out the old SIM card out of that phone, and then stressing for the rest of your trip that you don't lose that SIM card. I vividly recall a situation where I lent a gentleman my earring on a flight so that he could swap his SIM cards, only for the SIM card to get lost amidst the plane seats. My name is Sassy Finkay, and to be honest, I stayed clear of eSIMs for a very long time because I thought they were complicated, possibly unreliable, and a bit scammy. If you shared any of my reservations, worry not. I'm here to guide you about everything you need to know about them, including their benefits, how to purchase them, the installation process, and activating your eSIM. It's a bit embarrassing to admit, eh? but for many years, I logged around a collection of SIM cards for over 10 countries, always feeling there must be a better way. It wasn't until eSIMs approached me to try out their products that I finally gave eSIMs a shot. I was pleasantly surprised by their efficiency and convenience. So when they asked me to demonstrate their service and show it to you guys, it was an easy decision to say yes. About eSIMS, today's video is proudly sponsored by eSIMS, a leading eSIM provider offering mobile eSIM travel data plans across 120 countries and regions, all without incurring any roaming costs. With eSIMS, setting up your data plan takes minutes, ensuring you have instant internet and data access upon arrival. This straightforward process serves as a fantastic hack for seamless internet connectivity when you're abroad. A vital necessity in today's world, where internet access is essential for everything from ordering Ubers at airports to staying in touch with family and loved ones while away. In this video, I explore precisely how eSIMs work, offering an in-depth explanation, and then walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up an eSIM with eSIMs. If you're solely interested in the setup process, feel free to navigate to the section using the chapters in the description box. Now, before we get into this, you should first make sure that your device is compatible with eSIM. Most modern smartphones, tablets, and smartwatches support the eSIM technology. To be sure that your phone is indeed compatible, make sure to consult the full list of compatible devices on eSIM's website, which I've linked in my description box. It's also important to note that if your phone is still eSIM locked with your carrier, you may not be able to use an eSIM, even if your device is compatible. Please check your carrier to ensure your phone is unlocked before proceeding. Let's start with addressing the fundamental question. What exactly is an eSIM? Simply put, an eSIM stands for embedded SIM, meaning it's pre-installed in your device and operates digitally to connect you to your telecoms provider's network. In the past, accessing your telecom network, both domestically and internationally, would actually require you to purchase a physical SIM. However, with eSIM, the process is streamlined as it's all integrated in your phone, eliminating the need for physical cards to be swapped in and out. Benefits of eSIM The benefits of eSIM are quite clear. Firstly, it's quite convenient. Trust me, as someone who used to have 10 SIM cards for different countries and I used to swap them in and out, for different countries, it was so unnecessary and cumbersome. I'm quite upset that I didn't use eSIMs earlier because it's much easier. Secondly, in most cases, it's cheaper and more cost effective than taking on a roaming package. For someone that travels between the UK and Nigeria quite often, a 10 gig data plan on eSIMs only costs nine US dollars, something that would cost significantly more if I was roaming with a Nigerian carrier. Thirdly, with eSIM, you can continue to receive calls and texts on your regular phone number. 
has your own network sim will still be connected for voice and text whilst you're abroad. So that is quite handy if you have two-factor authentication enabled for a lot of different things like I do. That way you can continue receiving texts and you don't have to keep swapping your SIM in and out. Which again, I'm embarrassed to admit that I used to do this all the time. Lastly, unlike physical SIMs, you can set up your eSIM in advance of your trip, ensuring you actually have data connection as soon as you land. This can be incredibly helpful because on arrival in a new country, passport control may require for you to show details of your hotel confirmation or your return tickets. Having reliable data immediately upon landing provides the peace of mind and convenience in navigating the initial steps of your journey. Installing your eSIM. Honestly, this process was simple. I can't believe I was ever intimidated to try it the first time. From start to finish, it took me less than 15 minutes. Number one, go to usims.com or the App Store to download the usims app from your preferred App Store, whether that's on iOS or Android. And you download it on the phone you want to activate your eSIM card on. Before I continue, I should share that the process I'm showing you is what the activation process looks like on the iPhone. Check usims.com for the activation process for Android. Also ensure that you have a stable internet connection before you start this process because the process is not meant to be interrupted. Once you open the app, hit the red activate button on the bottom of the screen. Enter your phone number when prompted. You will receive an activation code by SMS or WhatsApp. Enter that code when prompted. You will then be redirected to your iPhone's iOS settings. Click continue to begin activating the eSIM on your phone. Press continue again to allow specifically the uSIM eSIM to be activated. Allow the activation process to complete. This may take up to five minutes, so be patient. Once activated, you receive a notification confirming that the eSIM is ready and be taken onto a screen that states cellular setup complete. Hit done. You will then be prompted to set your default line preferences. This is simply asking you which SIM you want your messages and calls to default to. Your primary line, which is the regular SIM card you had on your phone, or the secondary line, which I label on my phone as cellular data. I will keep this as my primary unless you've already arrived at your destination already and you want it to default to your eSIM right away. Next, to actually which SIM you want for your iMessage and FaceTime. So, very similar question. This is again simply asking you which SIM card you want to use when you get iMessages and FaceTime. I would stick with the primary line to allow anyone to contact you at your original number. Finally, it will ask you for your default line for cellular data. It's simply asking which SIM card do you want to use for your data connection. For sure, you want to choose the USIMS eSIM or your secondary eSIM, which is labeled on my phone as cellular data. I will keep this as USIMS or cellular data if I've already arrived at my destination. Otherwise, I will stick to my primary if I'm not yet at my destination and I will change it to USIMS the moment I arrive at my destination. Never choose allow cellular data switching as you don't want your phone to switch to your old SIM and be charged excessive data roaming charges by your home carrier. After setup is completed, you will see a notification on the eSIMS app saying that the eSIM has been successfully activated. Purchasing data packages. On the main page of the eSIMS app, scroll down and select the country or regions which you, used to, which you wish to have data for. There are three visible tabs here, which are top destination, which is to easily access data plan for popular destinations, Countries, which is ideal if you're visiting one country. And regions, which is ideal if you're visiting multiple countries. In a region like Europe, it's important to pay attention to the countries featured under the regions before you commit to the ESIM. To confirm that indeed the countries that you're visiting in Europe, for example, are included. It's key to note that ESIM gave me one gig free of data for Europe which I love as I'm going to be traveling to Switzerland very soon. Same free 1 gig data applies also in the United States. Now, to choose the right plan, pay attention firstly to the amount of data, as in how many gigabytes you get 
and also the period of validity. To determine your data needs, begin by assessing your typical usage at home and ensure you have a substantial buffer. Considering that travel tends to entail higher data usage, your specific requirements is also determined by your own personal habits. For instance, if you primarily use your phone for navigating, and for sending messages, your data needs will be lower compared to someone like myself that I use my phone for streaming and I'm on YouTube or on Netflix. Proceed to enter your billing information or just simply pay with Apple Pay. Hit pay to complete your purchase. I use my credit card information and my bank did that authentication before I could purchase. How to activate your USIMS eSIM upon arrival. Once you're ready to activate your data once you've arrived at your destination, you go to the settings on your iPhone. Click cellular, scroll down to the list of SIMs, and make sure your eSIM, which is labeled as cellular data on my own phone, it might be labeled as secondary or something different for you again. For sure, it's different from your primary. Make sure it's turned on, otherwise click on it to turn it on. Then scroll up to the same page, click on cellular data, and select the eSIM here. You're basically telling your phone now that I now want to use my eSIM for data. You're now connected. On the USIMS app, you may toggle on the top right icon at any time if you have some issues. And the USIMS app will direct you to what you need to do. That simple. It's key to note that you do not need to enable data roaming on USIMS, which saves you excessive roaming charges as all data is considered local for USIMS. To check how much data you have left, you can look on the tab on the USIMS app on the main page to check the left amount on the package. This can help to inform you whether you need to top up or just to help you manage your consumption so that you have enough data for the duration of your journey. This is important in case you know you like to binge on Netflix like I do. It also tells you exactly when your data expires, which is quite useful to know. So guys, that's it. Setting up a USIM eSIM for the first time was unbelievably easy. I was genuinely amazed by how straightforward the process was. My hope is after you watching this video, you share the same sentiment. If you experience any issues getting started with your eSIM, visit usims.com. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more helpful and practical videos such as this one. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.